as refugees continue to flow out of Ukraine, the majority of them to Poland, where many are making their way to that nation's largest city of Warsaw. And that's where our Phil Lipoff gained unique access, access to the mass shelters that are now helping to resettle these people into new and uncertain lives. For weeks, they have crossed borders in cars, buses, so many on foot to escape a brutal and indiscriminate Russian assault. The U.N. says 2.5 million have fled so far, the majority crossing into Poland, most women and children. Their faces, scared, confused and exhausted. The elderly, too. Others in wheelchairs. Larissa tells us when the house across the street was bombed, she and her granddaughters had to run. A five-minute drive from the border, volunteers handing out supplies, assigning rides and shelter. With concerns of exploitation, under this red tent, records are matched, phone numbers and addresses to follow up. This bus, one of many, leaving here, heading north to an uncertain future. This is where so many of the refugees across the border are winding up. This is a sports arena in Warsaw, where we're told two to 300,000 refugees have already come in. There are 300 beds set up in this particular facility. Mothers are bringing their children here. Children are bringing what they can fit into their backpacks. It's really a crisis situation. We are doing what we can. Tomasz Pakva is Warsaw's director of social affairs. He and countless volunteers working day and night to keep up. And this is just one of nine major shelters in Warsaw, a city desperately trying to keep pace with the number of refugees coming in. We are doing what we can as a city, but it should be government who organize that and spread people around Poland uh, so that it wouldn't cause problems in one place. Poland originally said it could take about a million refugees, but there are more than 1.5 million already here and more crossing the border every day. To be safe. <laughs> the generosity overwhelming for one refugee, bringing Oksana Novitska to her knees, not asking for mercy, but thanking the country that showed it to her. You know, if I, I don't know how to say more thank you, I can, I can kiss their feet for it, really. <laughs> we, we, under, and? we understand. When the war began, Oksana's nephew, four-year-old Timka, <laughs> describing the war above him from a basement shelter. <laughs> a few days later, his family made it to a hotel in Lublin, Poland. Timka's five-year-old cousin Anna was in that shelter too. They have seen and heard the same horror. Anna's way of expressing it, this picture, a man with a tank and helicopters above, we ask who he is. Putin. Putin. The government finding their family a home. They sent us these pictures when they were settled. But with so many refugees here now, that process is taking much longer. This is what it looks like to wait. Beds close together, a children's section with toys, snacks and a TV. Announcements every two hours for food. Doctors offering medical attention, and now a therapist on staff to heal the wounds we can't see, the trauma of war. Alonia Nagorna is here with her children, her husband back in Ukraine fighting for their freedom. Like so many we've met, all they have now is each other. Fear of the unknown, but hope their country can survive. A few beds down from Aljona, this mother, clutching her child's head as she sleeps, her daughter holding on to mom with both hands. At least for tonight, they will call this bed home. And unfortunately, scenes like the one you just saw are playing out all across this country. There is this compassionate, well-oiled machine here waiting to help all of these refugees coming across the border. The problem is it's being overwhelmed right now. Before we left that shelter, we, we asked Tomash uh, what comes next in this refugee crisis. And he looked at us and very ominously said, a storm is coming. Terry? Mm. Phil Lipoff, thank you for that reporting and for all the reporting you've been doing from Poland.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.